And there was Obama last night not even addressing. You know, I, I, I want to be very honest with you, and I always am, folks. But look at when when I sat down to watch a Democratic convention last night, a Democrat convention, I was I was making myself physically ill. I felt physically ill. I did not want to watch this crap. I did not want to subject myself to it. I wished that the football game had been last night. I almost went back. I didn't watch the whole game Wednesday. I almost went back to TiVo and watched the full game front to start rather than the Democrat convention. I knew what the Democrats were going to say. What made me feel sick, I'm literally, I was feeling sick to my stomach. And I was depressed. Not over what I knew I was going to hear, but over the fact that so many people were going to believe it. And so many people were going to fall for it. What, you don't think people did, Don? Oh, don't, don't kid yourself. That's the Democrat Party that I know and love. It was on display last night, folks. And I'm telling you, they, they, they put their best foot forward. They, that's, that's who they are. And, you know, these 88 million people not in the workforce, they're eating. They're using their cell phones. They're watching their widescreen, big screen plasmas. They got their unemployment compensation checks. They're doing okay. And how many of them might want to vote to keep that gravy train going? Uh, we, We have to remember here that we don't see this convention the way the Democrats see it. And I'm trying to be as upfront with you as I can about this. When the convention started, you know, I actually thought about not watching it. And Catherine said, you can't. You've got to. And I said, no, I don't have to. Yes, you do. You have to watch it. I said, ah, geez, you're right. And I got sicker. 